Hey, the Capital Region is sending some plows, drivers, and medical personnel out west to converge on Buffalo as the city is struggling to get back on its feet after the weekend's deadly snowstorm. News 10's Michaela Singleton checking in on their progress. Chaos. A lot of chaos. It was a whiteout for Buffalo this Christmas and a tough goodbye for Capital Region crews deployed to lend a hand. So it's always tough getting the call Christmas Eve and then telling the rest of your family, you know, my fiance, everybody else saying, hey, I got to pack my bags and hit the road and go out west for, you know, who knows how many days. Matt Zeglin is a National Grid supervisor from Schenectady. His crews have been working around the clock to restore power to about 105,000 people, but they're still not at 100 percent. Accessing a lot of the backyards is very difficult, so we did a lot of things on foot that we had to patrol on foot, cutting through backyards trucking through the snow so it's difficult and then uh, obviously when we find the issue getting all the equipment and materials to the issue is another uh, battle we had to overcome as well. To get to all those hard to reach places the linemen and women rely on the plow drivers to clear the way. Tuesday Albany County volunteered 23 DPW members and 21 pieces of equipment to give Erie County a little extra push. Today we found an, another part of the community that the roads have not been plowed until this morning when we got there to do it. Since hitting the ground, Albany DPW Deputy Commissioner Scott Duncan says Erie County has been behind the cleanup, mainly due to the deadly multi-day blizzard forcing even the most experienced plow drivers to stop their work. These crews literally just had to give up. They couldn't see. Uh, so, you know, and then the wind drove the, drove the snow in several other areas that it wouldn't normally be in. I mean, there's some streets that have uh, next to no snow and then you can go two blocks and there's a street that has five feet of snow right down the center of it. Duncan says Buffalo is now at least 50% plowed, but as access is regained to some of the more remote parts of the city and county, the death toll has risen again to 34 and climbing. Rensselaer County Executive Steve McLaughlin says his county's contribution is two teams from the Public Health Department. They'll be certainly assisting in the search and rescue and in the unfortunate case uh, where somebody has perished, then they are medical death examiners as well uh, so they can uh, confirm the worst. But for all the devastation, these hardworking Capital Region men and women say they felt the impact of their actions for the people of Erie County. People were giving up what they could and it was tough for the people to find things because the grocery stores were closed, but they were often, you know, coffee, hot chocolate, anything warm that they could ship out to us. At the end of the day, we're all New Yorkers, we're all Americans, you got to help each other out and I have no doubt that they would do the same for us. Reporting in the Capital Region, Michaela Singleton, News 10 ABC.